thinking now, why did I just show you a video of a saber-toothed tiger hunting down an animal? Do you feel any anxiety at all? Is your heart racing a little bit? I want you to think about that for a moment as we come back to it. Because today I want to talk about medicine and our evolutionary history. So going back to that tiger, now you may have felt a little anxiety while you were watching that video. Anxiety is a problem that many Americans face. Now, that's an evolutionary response. Now, we aren't being chased by tigers anymore, but we've got many other factors in our lives causing us to have anxiety. So that's one way of looking at a medical problem from an evolutionary standpoint. Now, something that's important to consider is diet. And I don't necessarily mean dieting to lose weight, but dieting to treat certain health problems. Something that's come into concern with overuse of antibiotics is the evolutionary relationship that we've developed with bacteria in many body organs, but particularly our intestines. It's important to understand this relationship because we need to maintain this relationship in order to keep ourselves healthy. Overuse of antibiotics has led us to see that when we disrupt this function, that it can cause significant harm. Now, something to take in mind when you're talking about probiotics and balancing of your gut biome is your own personal evolutionary history. What did your ancestors eat? My personal ancestry is Ireland and English descent. So my doctor actually told me that I should be eating a lot of cabbage in order to increase my good bacteria in my gut. Something that so many humans are suffering from, especially as we get older, is back pain and neck pain. The reason we're experiencing some of these problems is because our bodies are not evolved to sit at desks all day or evolved to walk on concrete or in buildings. We are evolved to be walking around on the ground and not on hard concrete or sitting for long periods of time. Another thing you can think of when looking at medicine from an evolutionary standpoint is select natural selection that has occurred over time since civilization occurred. The bubonic plague in Europe wiped out more than half of its population. Something that's interesting is those that survived may have been resistant to the plague. So we can look at these evolutionary happenings and things in our DNA to try to help us solve medical uh, crises, such as the HIV epidemic. One way that we're starting to do this is through our DNA. CRISPR is a technology where we can actually go in our DNA and edit things. An example, recently, there was a scientist who ch in ch Recently, there was a scientist in China that actually did this on a set of twins. He edited their DNA to try to make them resistant to HIV because both of their parents had HIV. So as we go into this modern day of medicine, it's important to remember our evolutionary history, our DNA, and how it's all related. The future of medicine is changing so rapidly, and I think it's very important to look at it and our health from an evolutionary point of view.